No, this oh, the guy, that was this the the guy, guy who owns the car. Okay. This the guy who stole it because he said he don't know this person. All right. Murphy. And Sean. he said it's been happening. Uh, this happened twice already. Okay, can you guys open up? Hi. Oh, I got a question for you guys. Yes. Is Sean in here? Um. Okay, where would you guys get the credit card from? Uh, the, what's, where is he? Wait, is, is anybody else in here? Okay. What's his where name? Yeah. Hey, come out here, man. Can you see MG? No. Yo, with your hands up where we can see him, step out here now. Step outside. I got less legal. Come on out. Where we can see your hands. Put your hands on your head. I want to deal with it. Put your hands on your head. You can go out and detain him. Where'd you get the credit card from? Excuse me? Where'd you get the credit card from? You want to step him up? Step him up. What? My boss. Okay. How is the room coming back to you? Sean Murphy. And there's not even your credit card on the account. I don't know. My, okay. my, literally, my boss did that. Okay. I, it's kind of hard to believe that your boss is paying for your, your hotel room on somebody else's credit card. Why do you guys have this room? Did you live in Fairview Park, which is not even far away? I don't live in Fairview Park. Either. Okay, where do you live at? I live in Columbus. Okay, and why are you back up here? Because I came down to, here to work. Where are you working at? Um, uh, there's a site of, uh, over 11th. 11th? 11th what? West 11th. West 11th in Cleveland? Yeah. Okay. We've been working out there for What do you do for construction work? Uh, concrete. Okay, because this is... We're getting called here because another party, the person who owns the credit card, says that, hey, my credit card is being used here for some reason, and quite ironic that he's not here and you guys are I, here I the room. I could pay for the room. I mean, I could pay for the well, room. Well, it's kind of late now, don't you I, think? I understand that, but I didn't make the reservation. I didn't, I just... But when people make the reservations, they don't just normally random put ran their random other person's name on it. I understand. So don't you think if your boss is making a reservation for you... Yeah, he should. He'd be using his own name? Um, I just started working for this guy. I didn't know. Okay. I was supposed to. Do you have your phone on you? Um, no. Okay, where's your phone at? Um, it's in the room. Okay. Do you know your boss's, which, your boss's name? Jason. Jason what? Prager. How do you last name? P-R-A-T-E-R. -E okay. Do you know his phone number at all? I can't, I don't know. Okay. Do you know where he lives at? Um. In Columbus, um, it's uh, it's Oak Street. It's maybe nine, nine oh one maybe. At this point, both officers realize that this man's story doesn't add up. He can barely recall any information about his supposed boss. He doesn't know his number, doesn't know where he lives, and to add to it all, when his girlfriend initially opened the door. We could already see something wasn't right. 4815 radio. Can you see if you can look at a Jason Prater out of Columbus? Okay, so why did she, why were you hiding when she entered the door? I was going to the bathroom. Okay. And why did she not tell us where you were, that you guys were in there? I don't know. Okay. Because you're police, I don't know. Maybe she thought Normally people wrong, just I don't know. lie or whenever they're I have no idea. when they're not in trouble. Yeah. Well I mean, why would why would you be knocking on the door if there wasn't a problem? Well you just exactly explain why. I uh, I don't know, I'm just because there's a, somebody's using a stolen credit card. Well we didn't know that though. It's not my first day. When we knock on a door, if nothing's wrong, I'm just telling you what it's bullshit what you just told that other officer. We knock on the door. If there's no problems or you're not up to any bullshit, guess what? You open the door and you're like, what's up, dude? Because probably we're at the wrong room.
Right. So the fact that that didn't happen, and the fact that she's like, we're in here, and then probably clearly seen him in the eye hole, and next thing you know, there's like a, not quite a minute, but enough time for somebody to go from one point of the ho let me finish before you get going, but enough time for somebody to go from one point of a hotel room to the other, and then their personal belongings, like, oh shit, is on the floor, like they were like trying to dip out and hide, and then we had to call you out like that. Listen, dude, it's not my first day. Why is your phone sitting on the floor? Because you're like, oh, shit, the police, you got up and went in the back, and you were going to try to hide to see what, what we were here for. Let me finish. Did you guys make the reservation on the computer, or did you do it? How did you make the reservation? I didn't make it. Who made it? This guy. So he made it over the over the computer? I, I No, he, I think he called. I don't know. So he called ahead and paid with a credit card over the phone for you to stay here. I guess. He was staying here. This too. guy. He was staying He's staying too. here? Yeah. He's here now. I believe so, yes. War room. One eighteen or something. What's his name? Jason. That Jason dude staying here in room one eighteen. So if I go talk to him, he's gonna be like, Yeah, I booked that room for this dude. That's what he, that's what room he was in. So Jason's here. Whether that's the room number or not, Jason's here. I think he was here, yes. He was he here? He was here. Definitely he was here. Did you guys call a minute ago? Call who? The room. No. Who called the room? What they say? I don't know. I got a, a phone call and it was a hang-up. It wasn't us. So this Jason dude's supposed to be here. He's supposed to be here, yes. Or if he's not here, you have his phone number that we can get him on the phone. Yeah. All right. Because we're, I mean, as of right now... You're on the hook. Okay. Yeah, um, well, so that's your girl. Three. You guys just coming up here. How long are you guys plan on staying? Three days. Three days. I'm supposed to work up here. And then right. her last and time she's I was visiting up here. you. Yeah. All right. Uh, any history of narcotics, weapons? I mean, a while ago. Right near Webster. What's that? A while ago, I used to get high. I mean, oh, okay. You so nothing in that nothing in that room right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, so I go out, I go downstairs and I go get my dog and I bring him back up here. He's not going to alert on anything in that room. Yeah. While this officer continues his conversation with our main suspect, let's see what the girlfriend has to say about the whole situation. I have a feeling she'll be more willing to talk. So, how do you know him? I've known him for about six months now. Okay, you said for a long time, but now it's yeah. only six months. Well, to me, it's it's a long time and his. Colin's a lot, um, and it's funny. That his name's Colin? Who's that? What's his name? Colin. Okay, go on. It's funny that this just happened because I got here at 3 o'clock last night mm -hmm. in the morning um, because he needs help, and, uh, and I can't. I can't help him but I can be a person that he can confide in. And uh, he's just going through a lot. How did you meet him? Um, somebody that I, I live with, uh, I live downstairs, and the person, my, the person lives upstairs. The person that lives upstairs I met through, that's how I met. Do you still live in Seville? No. Where do you live at? West side of Cleveland. West side of street? What's the address? Roanoke. Roanoke? Okay. You didn't come here with him? You got here at 3 a.m.? So if we ask him, that's what he's going to say too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you... Have you been doing this with him too? Using different credit cards or... Because your name sounds super freaking familiar. I was picked up with him not that long ago. For what? Um... We were at the rest and, and for the same same thing. For him, yeah. Okay. What? Who? Who picked you up? Middlebury. Oh. Okay. Did they take you to jail too? Because I had warrants. Yeah. Because you had warrants. Where were your warrants out of? Well, obviously you cleaned them up because you don't have any warrants anymore. Yeah. Where was it out of? Medina. Medina. I'm not. I don't hate him. You know. I'm not. 
I know, but clearly you know what he's doing if you've been caught twice now in this same hotel with him. But I don't partake. I mean, it's the same thing, though. Like, I, you I obviously know what's going on, though. He's do, I don't do, I, I don't partake in anything that he but does. But you still come here and put yourself in this situation knowing that he's doing this, correct? I put myself in a situation, and it's not for that. It's because I I'm just trying to understand. I'm not trying person. to be mean or anything like that. I'm just trying I to care, understand. I care about him as a person. I, I don't, I'm not here for that. I'm here for him. Okay, but you understand what he's doing he is illegal, correct? Using other people's credit cards. Where's your Where's your stuff? Where's your purse? Do you have a purse? Yes, Do you mind if I search it? I mean, I I don't. I have nothing to hide. You can search me. Um, but is there a reason why you want to search my purse? Because I'm just if asking. I'm not being arrested. I don't see why you. Would well, I'm just asking if I can. That's it. Am I being arrested? No, not at this moment. But well, I'm just asking you if I can go through it first. That's it. If I'm not being arrested, I don't see why you would have to go through my own. I'm just asking. You don't have to give me permission. You can either give me permission or say no. I decline. Okay. Right. Are there you different are there different credit cards in your purse? Is that why you don't want me to go through it? I dec if I'm not being arrested <laughs> Okay. Because I didn't commit this crime. I got you. I'm just asking. Is that why you don't want me to check your purse? Because you probably I mean, I have different commit. credit cards that are in other people's names as well. How do you know him? I already asked all those. I'll talk to you. What do you need from him? I already talked to him. So how do you know him? Though? Can I answer? Yeah. Answer. Um, I know him through a mutual friend. Where did you meet him at? Um, where I live. Where you live at? Roanoke. Okay. You know where his wallet is at? Okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't see it in here. It's got to be over there. Okay. Does he have any drugs or anything in here? I'm just going to try to see if I can find his wallet. Is he asking for his wallet? No. Oh, okay. That's part of the credit card, yeah. Is he saying that you guys met down in Columbus and they are up here with him in Columbus? Yeah, and she won't want me to go through her purse, so I'm assuming yeah. she's got credit cards in there too. So. Can we just go just make sure the credit cards are not in there? Go ahead. I guess I'm not on my at this point, the officers are still trying to find the stolen credit cards since they've neither found the suspect's wallet nor had permission to search the girlfriend's bag, which is also crucial so they can verify whether she is an accomplice in the crime or not. Okay. Got How how did you guys get this room done? He did. I got here, which you can check the cameras. I got here at like 3, 3.30 in the morning. Okay. I didn't come in here with him. How did you know to come here though? He called or texted you? Yeah. Okay. So, if the, if the credit card's not in there, why would it be a problem if we didn't just make sure the credit card's not in there? Because if I'm not being arrested... Well, I'm just trying to get the credit card back. I, don't, I could care less about anything I else. I mean, it could be in that one. I, yeah, I'm going to ask him to see if I can 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 if I can see 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 if I Clearly you hanging around him is probably not a good idea if he's going to keep putting you in these situations. And I would suggest that if you continue to do this, you will continue to be arrested for it. And you will do time again. What? Where'd you hide your wallet at? I don't have my wallet. Okay, so you're going to be lying to me. I, I don't know. You said you met her down in Columbus? No, I met her here. I live in Columbus. Where is your wallet at? Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Where's your driver's license? Well, yeah. It's not on you. I have it in my phone. Okay, can we walk in the room and see if you can find it? 
We can walk anywhere you want. Right. Let's go then. I, I don't have Come on, my phone. That's why we're going in the room. That's why I told. That's why I told you what you're telling him is total bullshit. It's all making sense to you now. You're running out of excuses and yeah. lies. I, 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 my phone's in here somewhere. All right, where's that? Is that what, that's what on the ground? That's your phone. Where's your wallet? Where's your wallet? Let's, I call a bluff on that. Uh, I don't have it on me. I don't know. All right, so it's not, just not in the room at all. Okay. All right. Are, is that why you're here? Just because you guys are shooting up drugs? Yeah, there's a needle. Do you use? Does it matter? I mean, it's a rhetorical question. But Does it matter? I don't stick up drugs. So the needle's not yours? I don't look. I don't stick up drugs. There's other places. But he's just asking if you use drugs at all. How old are you? 33. 33? <clears throat> That's cute. They put sheets in here for you. Are you still gonna end up sticking around with this dude, or no? His wallet's not sure, in your purse, is it? His wallet's not in your purse, is it? You might just want him to do this so we can see there's no wallet in there. Myself? Yeah, I'm not. Well, you don't want me to do it. I just don't know. Right? If I'm not being arrested. What's that? If I'm not being arrested, then why would I have anybody search me or my property? Uh, I mean, that's. I'm not questioning that. So, be honest with me. Where the fuck is this? Where the fuck is the wallet at that you have the credit card in? I never gave him a credit card. I never gave him a credit card. I, I never. Gave I don't him believe card. it that you, your boss bought you the room. Literally, I never gave him a credit card. Which phone were you on? I got an email sent to me. Okay. So was this forwarded to you, or is this sent to you? No, sent to me. This is sent exactly to you, dude. Kind of looks like you're using the credit card. Can, can I, I go through the I other emails know. to see where... Yeah. Okay. He, he literally set up my own Hilton Honors account. Yeah. Using your phone? Yeah. This is confirmation. That's what he... Yeah, used. it's a confirmation that you used it. It's not even my email. You just... This is your phone, though. I know that, but he, he literally set me up an account just for that email. Okay, you have his phone number on, in this phone? Yeah. yeah. Hey, how'd you get the room? Huh? How'd you get the hotel room? How'd you pay Thank for you. it? You sure you got the right number, dude? What hotel room? It's Jason. I know. What hotel room? You got the hotel room. I don't have a hotel room. For our work. How did you... I'm at my house. Jason. Yeah, I'm at my house. Hey, um, this is Patrolman Porter with the Middlebury Heights Police Department. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I would assume so. So, I have a question. So you did not purchase a room for... What's his name? Sean. Again? For Sean? I don't know man. No, listen... So you didn't purchase a, you didn't per, huh? Can you call me back? I just woke up, man. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, so you're getting flaky now. I just woke up, man. I don't even know who this is. This is, this is a police officer. Okay, I'm starting. Yes. Yeah, Alright, I'm starting to believe you, dude. Uh, I'm not. A little bit. Just give me the heads up that you guys, after we're done here, if nobody's going, if nobody's getting arrested, 
After we're done here, you guys are going to have to leave the room because the room's not in either one of your guys' names, okay? So, we're going to we're gonna be wrapping this up here in a little bit. Just be, be, be truthful with me, alright? What is that with the needle? I don't want anybody here getting hurt. So you're telling me that it's not heroin with the needle? No. Okay. What is your drug of choice then? Hey, do you have a Jason Peters? No, never, never has been registered over him here or nothing. So, you got his phone number or whatever? Yeah, Jason. Yeah. I explained to him. Nobody's getting arrested here. Nobody's getting charged with anything. This is gonna be for the detective here, okay? But you guys can't stay in here since this is not even your guys's, not in your guys' room at all, okay? My boys want a payment from them for last night. For last night? Yes. Hey, hey, Porter, can you stop them? Can you stop them and bring them back in here real quick? Hey, come here. So somehow you got you have to pay for the room, or she does one or the, one or the other. Does she have money to pay for it? Because if you guys don't have money to pay for it, that's a civil issue right there. We're, we're not going further with it because we can't prove that he was the one using the credit card, the other credit card, because he didn't. It was underneath. The room's underneath his name, but he has somebody else booking, saying he's yeah, booking the room for him. Um, he asked me to look. It says Hilton. Yeah. That's all I know. So we can't. So we're going to fast forward minutes. to the detective bureau. Okay. Can I see you five minutes so I can pay the room? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my boss said he just wanted to press charge because this well, one, that's, this is the second time it happened. Yeah, so, and we can't determine if he's the one doing it or if somebody, if it was somebody else. Right, because he said it's a ring of him. He didn't yeah. know if he was a part or not. He just wanted to. Yep. You gotta follow protocol. Yeah. Since the officers have no way of verifying if the credit card was used by the hotel guest himself or by this so called Jason guy, they might have to let him go. Hey, did you saw a picture of his ID? Can you stay here with them? Yeah, can you send me that? Yes, I'll do that right now. She's figuring out. Hmm? She's figuring out how you can pay oh, about okay. 150. Is it cash? A cash app. I'm going to have to pay or send you money or. Yeah, cash app is on the thing you It's something like Venmo. She has a cash app card. It's a credit card. Hmm. Alright. When's your birthday? Three twenty-eight? Yeah, eighty-eight. Eighty eight. Alright. Are you following me? No. Alright. Why? What's your address in Fairview Park? Alright, put your hands behind your back. Come on. What do you mean? Quit f***ing with me, dude. Your name's not Sean. Why are you here? Because you gave me the wrong f***ing birthday. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Alright. And you couldn't even give me the correct address in Fairview Park. It's 210. Yeah, you're wrong. What are you so what's about? your actual name? My birthday is 528-88. I told you that four times. No, you gave me 328. It's 528 You gave me 328 No, it's not. Okay. I see it. So what is your actual social then? I have no idea. You have no idea? I have no idea. Why would I know my cell phone? Look at it. It's me. Why do you need me? Why did you think different? How long have you been using them? A while. That does not look like him at all. It's me. It's me. It's the only difference. So what was the address again of Fairview Park? I don't know. I don't know. That's me. I'm anything. 
What's your middle name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alexander? This doesn't look like you at it's all. It's two tenths. Uh, you don't know what your social is? Mm-hmm. You're 30. How old are you? 30. Don't you know how old you are? Oh. Yeah. Ruined my life. Lost my kid. Everything. How do, you, how do you not know where your social is, though, dude? Why do I need it? I don't. I get paid cash. I don't. I don't do anything. Normally, people know their social security number is. So, when is your birthday? 528. 528? Casey, when is the birthday? It's 27 years old. What's your birthday? 527. Huh? You just told me 528. 528? What? 88. I literally can't remember anything. What is the place you live before 34? Cities. Cities. <laughs> Mostly Cleveland. You ever got arrested? Yeah. For what? No. It's, it's really honestly hard for us to believe that because. The picture of you, yeah, I understand it's a year ago, like, you don't even look like, like... It's over a year. What? It's over a year. Yeah, it was in 22. So it's a year ago. A year and a half, You don't, you don't even look like that, that person at all. You A hundred percent? Yeah. I can show it to you in my phone. Where's your phone at? Uh, yeah. Did I leave it on the counter? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's go on the counter. My other phone. I can show it to you. Right, well, I'll show you a check. I can show you. I'm off the right, put your feet in there. Or I'll grab it. Can you uncuff one hand, please? So I can show you. I'll just do it. All right. Just tell me where it's at. I just have a, I have a picture of my check. Look. It's my ID. Where is this actual ID at, though? I don't know. And how do you want... Where did I Here, let me show you the other thing. You literally took that not even a month or a couple a month ago or whatever. Yeah, because it was a picture of my ID. What did I lie to you about that? Yeah, but where is the actual ID at? I don't know. I literally don't know where shit is. How but the fuck did you get all the way up here? I've been fucking homeless for years, dude. You've been homeless for years? Pretty much. And how do you have a Fairview Park address? Uh, old address. Old girlfriend. But I can't remember it. I didn't stay there the very long. She hated me. I think it's other phone number. Ow! Fuck. Right here. Put your phone in your pocket. See why I'm, I don't really believe it? Because you don't look like you. No. Tracy. I met him. Tracy, right? What? Tracy, miss, you won't give me the last name? What about it? Who's crazy? That's the mutual friend. Oh. So you don't even really know this dude? I'm I'm confused on what's going on at this point. Is this dude usually on some trash like this? I could tell when you open the door. Is it he's really this Sean Murphy or whatever? I don't want to answer any questions. Why <laughs> <laughs> you bullshit? Hey, G, you saw a picture of his ID? When we first knocked on the door, he was sitting on the couch, wasn't he? In the living room, though? And then he was like, shh, scared. Huh? Nine years? Oh, you guys had a little something going on, huh? You're in a room with this dude. We're investigating a crime and you're not helping us help yourself. What's that? What's that? I just got the phone. My boss, he said Jason Peter is a part of the 
stole her credit card because they used that card last time because he said this happened twice here. Oh, okay. Yeah, that other officer, he'll be back in. Just make sure he knows that, okay? Okay, tell him. Yeah, he'll okay. be back in. Okay, no problem. Right, thank you. Thank you. So, who do you know him as? Sean. No. <laughs> you already, we already both agreed that that's bullshit. You're still sticking to it, though. Uh, I might know him as a lot of names. He could give me a lot of names. If you care for him that much that you came here at 3 in the morning... To help him with his life, his life situation, then you know who he is. Huh? I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, I know. That's, um, just tell me who he is, and tell me who he is, and I'm, I'm leaving. Well, then we have other issues. Other things that we're gonna end up having to do. What's his last name? Larson. Percy? Larson. Larson? Colin Larson? He goes by a lot of names. If that's a lie, then you're getting cited. This information might actually help the officers to identify who their suspect actually is and put an end to this story. Little do the officers know. It's just another fake name, which they're about to find out. Huh? Have you only lived in Ohio? No. Where else have you lived? Yeah. Anywhere else? I've been on the streets for years. What? I'm just asking. Yeah. So you've always lived in Ohio, besides Florida? No, where else do I live? Huh? I'm trying to think where else I live. Uh, yeah, man, your picture really don't look like you that much. I mean, it fits your hair, but it don't, it don't look like you. Did I shave? Yeah. I so you're up. telling me in a year, your hair... year and a half. ...went brown? Huh? It's always been brownish. I mean, it was a little bit, I had a little bit more auburn in my hair, but I got it. It's always been a dirty blonde, or auburn, you know, depending on the other sun. I also think it's weird that you don't know your social, though. Do you know your driver's license number? Stop. Who knows their driver's license number? I do. Alright, God, that doesn't count. I don't know, I've never known my driver's license number. I mean, if you could tell us your social, and we get this over right now. I, I don't know. That's just weird. Dude. I have it. I, I ain't have gonna it. lie. Where? In your wallet? Yeah, no, Up in the room? Yeah, no. I have oh, it in my phone. Yeah. You have it in your phone? Yeah. Your driver's license. I have my. I just showed him a picture of my driver's license. And I have my social in my phone. Yeah, have yeah, you I'll ever lived you. in Arizona? I visited there for an extended period of time. What? How long? Uh, it four or five months. If you hand me my phone, I'll give you my social. Huh? If you hand me my phone, I'll give you my social. I'm not gonna trust a picture of your social or ID. Do you know what people normally use pictures of that stuff for? What? Steal people's identities. <laughs> Kind of why we're here a little bit. If you haven't gotten the gist of that. For a credit card. Yeah, hey, it's the is. same same thing though. You know, it's not your credit card, so. We just were really. Did we just want to make sure it's you, man? It is. Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to give you a hard time or anything like that. We just need to know that it's you. Because the picture a year ago does not look anything like you right now. Yes, it does. Hell no, it doesn't. Other than, do. other than the beard, what do you mean? I don't know you. You have a beard. No, I don't. Hey, dude, you got scrubs. Man, stop Five it. Five cuts out. You bullshit. You bullshit.
So where's your actual driver's license at? Huh? What's up? Really? You never decided to get a new copy? It's kind of important. Why are you so curious on what he's looking at? Huh? He said, this is it, this is it. Uh -huh. What do you mean? I thought he was going to say, I'm pretty good. We're just trying to figure it out. That's all. One last chance. Can I just ask this and I will tell you. Okay. You're going to find out who he is. One hundred percent. He's never leaving until we find out who he is. He'll sit in a jail cell until he, we find out who he is. I can always spell out the last name, but you can't. All right, first name. Um, hmm? Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Last name is Why are they be giving us fake name and and fake name? What's a lot? I, obviously, he's a drug addict. What cases? Affirmative. We're trying to identify one individual here. So, what is these cases? I'll give you a phone call. So, what'd you say? What's the case for? Arson. Arson? Okay. Thank you. Because he was never going to give us his name and date of birth or anything. Because we run the BMV image, it's obviously not him. Okay? So, you don't have... Oh, well, yeah, he's been arrested now. We're, listen, if he didn't give us a fake name and date of birth in that, he would have been released. Idiot for doing that. But if he wants to around and find out he can do that right now so all right so you don't have you're, you don't have anything legal going on here so we're gonna let you go now this is finally a believable name could it be that the girlfriend finally cracked and gave up her man let's see what the database has to say when that name is entered active warrant active warrant you can only do this stuff so many times Bingo. On the count of three, we're both going to say your first name. Okay? On the count of three, I want you to do it with me. Yeah. We're going to say your first name. Okay. On the count of three. Yep. Yeah. One, two, three. Son. Colin. Oh, f Christopher. <laughs> All right, we're out. Oh, my God. Look at him. Clear? Huh? What you use? Clear? No, I, I, I heard it tell me. Christopher Delaware? Delaware. How do you spell that? What's your last name? Delaware. Christopher? 4809. What's your birthday? You can cancel for 88? Suspended license. Suspended license. Ah, oh, get the hell out of here, bro. <laughs> now he's this dude. <laughs> What's the picture for Colin? It's fucking Colin. You, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You want to know what his warrant's for? Arson. Identity theft. No fucking way. Oh, there we go. Charge. Aggravated Drug burglary. possession. Aggravated burglary. Firearm spec. Identity fraud. Tampering with evidence. Arson. Having weapons while under disability. Inducing panic. Defacing identification marks of firearms. Like, holy shit. Oh, traffic. Who gives a f about Santa that? County? Yeah.
Yeah. Hey, sir, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You can blow the fire. What happened? All right, so I went to turn into turning lane up here to get over. I had my turn signal on, and this flies up beside me, and I was already over. So I didn't even see her coming, and the last time I looked over to my left, and she was there, and there was nothing I could do. Okay. So and she left. I told her, I was, she's like, you want to settle this now or what? And I was like, I'm calling the law because, I mean, I can claim it on my insurance. Right. So where where did your vehicle come in contact with her I mean, vehicle? I guess she hit my tire because she got black streak all on the back of her car. I guess it hit my tire. The yeah, front what? tire right here? Yeah. Okay, so just so I'm clear. So you're in the turning lane. You're in the turning lane coming here? Yeah, I was coming, coming in here. Yeah, I was coming in here. Okay. And she told me, she's like, we turned at the same, she's like, we turned, we was getting over at the same time. I said, there's no way we was getting over at the same time, because if it was, you'd have been behind me and you wouldn't hit me. Okay, so you're coming into the turn line and then she comes into you yeah, and then like goes. I was, she was behind me and I went to get over and she was already over, so it kind of clipped the back end of her car, which I jerked it back real quick as soon as I seen her, but she was like right here as soon as I seen her. You're going to take a left to go that way? You were coming here to come here. here. Okay, so you were coming in the turn lane to come here. Yeah, and she was too. Okay. All right, now now I'm picking up what you're putting up. Yeah. Uh, you got your driver's license on you? Yeah, and she, I told her that I was Go calling y'all. And uh, what she done was, she's like, well, I ain't, I ain't sticking around. I said, shit, I am. Because, I mean, basically, that's a hit and run. Would it be a problem if I pulled over here and got gas? And then pull back over here. No, just go ahead. Okay. It'll be a few. Okay. Yep. So there's your driver's license back. So the only damage on the truck is just that front left tire. Yeah. That front driver's side tire. Yeah. That messed her car up. Yeah, which I mean, all it done, it, I mean, it's. I see it right here. Yeah. That ro that rotation yeah, right there. Right there. And that's all it done. But she just pulled up here and I told her that I was going to call the law and she's like, no, I'm going to leave. So she backed out and left and went that way. Okay. She was in a red Camaro with two Georgia flags on each side. Okay. I'm going to try to track it down. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. Unfortunately for the suspect, someone noticed her pull into a parking lot. They quickly called the police. Or as the other driver said, the law. Hello. You got ID on it. Well, I don't have it on me. Okay. You want to step back here for me? Yeah. All right. Were you just involved in a wreck? Be honest. It's okay. Yes. But he well, hit me. He hit you? Yes. Why didn't you stop? Because, I mean... I really didn't know, like, if it was Where'd, my fault or his fault. Okay. Well, you should stop and figure that out. Where'd you get hit at? On this side. He, when I was getting over, he was getting over. But see, I was getting over before. Which way y'all coming from? We was in the turning Downtown. lane. We was in the turning lane going to the marathon. Okay. I was getting over. He was getting over. But see, I was getting over before him. So it's like, I was kind of still kind of behind him. But I was merging over to right. get in the turn lane. He was merging over, so he side scraped me. Okay, all right. Um, you say you don't have your ID on? I don't. Okay, what's your name? Sh and good date of birth for you? Um, I can't even think right now because this is my neighbor car, and I just that's why I really pulled out because I don't want to get in trouble. 1980. 80. Okay. Uh, good phone number for you. Yes. Where do you stay at? I stay well. Right now, I'm just like living with my mom. Where at? But um, do I have to give her address? Yeah. So. If it's involved in a wreck, we have to have your address to put in the report. So. Oh my God. All right. So what's your address? It's going to get back to my neighbor. I got you. Well, we have to, we have to have that info. Okay. Damn. So if y'all report this, they, he, my neighbor going to know, right? I mean, your neighbor's going to find it. I mean, you know he's what I mean? He's not going to see it, but he's, gonna he's see an that. older guy, but he, no, he's not going to see it. But the thing is, even if he Does he know you have the car? Yes, he know I'm driving his car, but. Okay. The thing is, even if he see this, is his insurance gonna know? Like it's gonna go on his insurance. So it depends on if the other driver goes through the insurance. It may not go through the insurance at all. And if you're if not, they at, don't go through the And insurance. if you're not at fault, then it's his. It's the other dude's insurance. But it, my neighbor insurance is gonna find out, right? Well, they find out, but it's not. It's not like. So if you're not at fault, they're not going after your insurance or your neighbor's whoever's car insurance on the car well, he's it's still the other know. Person. yeah so what's a what's a good address for you okay. and 
What's a good address for? So you say you were in the turn lane to go. We were going to the marathon. You were in the right turn lane. Yes, I was going to the marathon. I was finna get ready to get over, and he was finna get ready to get over. And he hit me because he side scraped me. Like I was getting over, so basically. So you were okay. getting. You were in the right lane or left lane? We was both in the middle lane, so I guess the right lane. I mean okay. the left lane. Between the other straight lane and the right turn. Yes, lane. You were in the to get lane. ready to get gotcha. over to go to America. Mm -hmm. He was kind of in front of me. I was kind of behind him, so we was basically. I was getting. I got over before him, and then he was getting over, and he side straight. Okay. So he was in front of you, got over, and then he slid over and side straight. Yeah. Okay. He was. So basically, we was gonna get over at the same time. Gotcha. Two sixty eighty eight. Do you have the guy's phone number? Maybe I can try to talk to him. There's an officer down there with him. Will I get in trouble for leaving the scene? Well, so it depends on what what all the officer had. I don't know. I was just told there was an accident and the vehicle pulled in here. So who, do you know who the, what's the name of the, the guy? Because we're going to need all that. So We just call him Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim? Yeah. Okay. And you say, where's he, which apartment, or uh, lot is he? Right um, next door or like? No, he's a... He's not like right next door, but he's in the neighborhood. Well, I literally, I'm staying with my sister right now, but he say like next door to my other sister. So I said my mom, but my sister, she really like my sister, like mom, whatever. But I stay with her, like I'm living with her right now. So, but he stay in the neighborhood next to my, um, where my oldest sister. Okay. So not in Spring Valley? So not in Spring Valley. Okay. Where's he stay at? He stay in Kevin. Afternoon, ma'am. How are you? Yeah. What's going on? So, me and the guy, we was getting over at the same time. We was both in the left lane, finna get over in the turning lane to go to the marathon. He was kind of in front of me. I was behind him. So, like, I was merging over, but he was merging over, too. So, he side-scraped me as I was getting over. All right. I can't really tell who fault it was or whatever. I so, just don't want my neighbor to find out. So why, when y'all showed up, when y'all both pulled into the parking lot there, when he said that he was going to call the police, why'd you leave? Because I don't, this is my neighbor, well, not my neighbor's car. It's like one of our friend's cars, and I just didn't want to get in trouble for hitting his car. How how I mean, would you get in trouble by me showing up and talking to both y'all and then writing I mean, a record I don't report know. about it? I don't know. Okay, you got your driver's license on you? I don't. Okay. Give me... Give me one second. Can I check on my son? I got my son in the car. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. I'm still back here. All right. Just so I'm just so I'm clear, I'm gonna run this back to you. Okay. All right. So y'all are both headed westbound on Lexington Road. Y'all are both gonna turn into a marathon. He's in front of you, right? And then y'all both get over. Right. So how do you end up in front of him? Because I was getting over. I don't know if he was paying attention. Maybe he didn't look through his rear view mirror, but I was get, finna get ready to get in turn lane. And he was getting ready to get over too. And he side scraped me. But you seen he was going to go into that no, lane? No, I did not see him. He said he had on his turning lights, but I did not see his turning lights on. I'm pretty sure if I would have saw his turning lights on, I would have kind of like slowed down. Okay. I wasn't even going fast. I was just getting over. I got you. What's your name, ma'am? Okay. Uh, I just got running a lot through my information system real quick, and I'll be back with you, okay? Do you have any ID at all on you? Photo ID, nothing like that? Badge ID from work, I nothing like that? I don't even have a work ID on me. You don't have a work ID or nothing? You have a driver's license? Yeah. You do? But I don't have it on me. I don't. I was just okay. running to the store. You from I Georgia? I picked my son up from school. You from Georgia? Yeah. Oh. You have a, I, your driver's license through Georgia? Yeah. Would it be at all from another state or anything like that? No. No? Just step back here for me. Right, birthday year. I get I put in what you gave me. Might have said either. Huh? Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? What's your middle name? What's my middle name? Yes, ma'am. Uh why you need to know my middle name? Well I'm I'm pulling you up right here. Do you uh, have a middle name? Say again. Okay, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. I have my son in a we car. Don't worry about that. Okay.
Alright. So I'm trying to make this as easy as possible, okay? What you got going on? I don't have anything going on. So why are you giving me a false name? I'm not giving you a false name. Y'all putting the right information in? None of the female that just popped up was born in 1982. Looks nothing like you. I didn't say 1982. You said September 10th, 1980. Nothing comes back with that. When I say September 10th, 1982, a female. You put 81? You just told me that it was really 1980. Right now, it's either 80 or 81. I know when I was born. Like, I just can't think right now. Maybe what's, just what's your the wrong middle? information. What's, what's your middle name? Okay. I mean, uh, just look it up. Okay. Just give me a few. Sixty, if you'll just hang out with her. Sixty, right here. You have any kind of identifying documents within the vehicle that would say who you are? No, I don't. Okay, so I still have yet to identify who you are. So you ain't pulling that thing up. By no, ma'am. Do you have a valid driver's license out of the state of Georgia? How long have you no, lived here? I've been in here. I live here all my life. Okay, so I would definitely have information on that then. Hey, buddy. You okay? You good? What's your mama's name? Huh? What's that, buddy? Okay, thanks, buddy. Yes, y'all may not be spelling it right. Okay. Is that your name? No. Okay. Spell that first name for me one more time. Spell it. I mean, give me your birthday. 1980 or 81. 1980, I don't understand. Why am I doing this? When did you get that tattoo on your face? How long have you had that? Not long. How long are we talking? I don't know, about a week or so, baby. Oh my goodness. Don't know, don't know, don't know. I'm good to stay in here with her if you want to put it in the back of the car. I mean, i got to see if there's any kind of paperwork in here that would identify yeah. who she is. Right. What about my son? I'll talk to him. Will you take that for me? You got anything else on you? Um, I'll take your phone off you. Hey, good afternoon. Are you okay? You doing all right? How old are you, boss? How old are you? Six. You're six? You go to school today? How was that? School today. Do I know? I said school today. Yeah, did you go to school today? Yeah. How was it? It was good? Let me step back there. I'll check your hat, okay? Can you put it back on? You want it forward? <laughs> no, no, backwards. You want it backwards? Yeah. Like that? What I'm going to do about my thing, y'all? Well, do you have somebody we can call and come get them? Because I'll be honest, you, you, you're probably going to jail because you're, you're lying about your name for one. Two, we got hit and run. And, you know, possibly whatever else is attached to your name that you don't want us to know about. So, so if I be honest with y'all, it's still not going to help, right? I mean, it's just going to be an extra charge. I mean, it's it's not worth it, to be honest. You know, because the more charges you have, the worse it looks when you try to get your kid. What's your name? What's your last name? Do you know your mom's name? Spell that first name for me again. S. Uh huh. H. Uh huh. Okay. Thank you, buddy. So what I need to do? Here, take a seat. Can I please hit my baby, please. Please, please, please? Well, you haven't been truthful with us at all. Why would I help please you out? Tell my, let me hit my baby. I just don't want, I mean, I got my son with me, and I just didn't want to get in any trouble. Gotcha. Hold on, I'm going to read you your rights so you know, okay? Just so you have this, all right? All right, this is the Miranda warning, okay? All right, you have the right to remain silent. Do you understand these rights I've read to you? Yes. Okay. Understanding these rights, do you wish to speak to us? No. I mean, yeah. I mean, what's up? I honestly apologize. I honestly apologize. I just, I got my son with me. I got my son with me, and I have a warrant on me, and I just didn't want to get in any trouble. Birthday of.
89. That's what you couldn't remember earlier. I can, yeah, I remember. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Do you have someone that we can call to get your son? My stepdad lived, he have dimension, but he literally lived right here. Maybe Dispatch he can come up here and get him. Now, who's, does your do you have a phone number for your neighbor? Because you said it's your neighbor's car, so do you have the phone number for him? It may be in my phone. I don't know how far back it goes. I don't know if my son got it in his phone. He may have it in his phone. I don't know, but I know it's a 202 number. I just can't remember the rest, but I can try to call my stepdad, and he can maybe go next door and talk to him. Tell him to come get my son right here. Well, that's, that's going to be up to Officer Trotter. So, What's she got going on? She got her kid in the car. The yep. car belongs to the neighbor. I asked her if she had the phone number. She does not know off the top of her head. She might have it in the phone. She can call her stepdad to walk over to Who's the Mr. You. Who's Mr. The registered owner of the vehicle. He's my neighbor. He's your neighbor? Okay. Can I please hit my hmm? Will y'all please let me hit my That's up, that's up to, to Officer please. Trotter. I know I, I, mean, I know I, I know I know I live. Look, listen to me, right? Listen, I'm probably one of the most laid back. You can ask him. I'm so laid back. If I would have walked up here, you would have had your son with you. I would have got all your information. I would have gave you your citations. You'd have been on your way, right? But now we're in this situation yeah, because you because you put us way. here. I was gonna be on my way if I. You you put us here in this situation by listen, conducting the actions you that you name. did. If I would have gave you my name, I wouldn't have been on my way. But I was gonna be on my way. You know what your warrant's for? It's Newton County for, uh, probation warrant. For a shop looking out of Covington. That's what I mean. That's what it's Chances are they're probably not going to get you. Could you call uh, the Tether Road? To be honest, they probably wouldn't come get you. It's it's a ways away for one and two. It's COVID. Last right? time I was locked up in Clark County, Chris County, they was going to come Every county's different. Every county. But see, depends. this is a probation warrant. Like, my probation is supposed to end in may it just depends i just cannot afford to be locked up that long with my baby being in school like please i wish i would let me go we're, we're past that okay you've made your bed you gotta lay in it okay so you don't think newton county will come and get me it depends i don't it, it changes daily i mean and then with, i got with COVID, in the morning for clark County. we'll do you know they know that they'll know that you let them know to remind them but they should bring you over there do any of y'all smoke y'all don't smoke i don't i'm sorry i just carry a lighter around in case someone needs that that's it that's about it how did y'all find me that bad someone called you said there was a car matching your description in here someone called y'all yeah someone i guess a witness said they you pulled in here so i came right here Easy as that. It's not worth it. It's really not. All right. Especially for that either probation way around, violation. Either thing. way around, y'all would have still been able to catch me, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not hard. I mean, Athens ain't that big. It's big, but it ain't that big. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. And I normally don't even do stuff like this. I just, I just my son with me. Gotcha. And, and I didn't want nothing to happen with him. You it's know? Even, even less of a reason, you know? Um, because, you know, say you, say GSP was in the area. And they get behind you and you decide to take off. They'll chase you. Now you got your kid in the car. Now what are you going to do? That's, that's a problem, right? So now we got our kid in there. All right, it's, it's never a good idea. It's going to catch up to you. It's 21st century. There's cameras everywhere, you know? It's not. <laughs> it's very hard to get away with anything nowadays. The owner of the vehicle and the suspect stepdad ended up picking up her son. The owner was not too pleased to hear about her charges. It's traffic stuff, boy. He's okay. I'm gonna get out, okay? Don't cry. All right. I'll be okay. I'm gonna be with Grandma. Oh my God. Come and get you. You gonna go? Five minutes tonight. I'm gonna try to go. Let me see. Let me see. Can you got a little closer because I got to get with you. Can I tell you something, man? Come here. You want to... How many times have you been arrested for driving on suspended license? A couple of 
couple of times. Couple of times? I'm gonna tell him to put it in my Yeah, that's my stepdad and me some things. For real? Yeah. We're probably finna get you. So it's tough. Are they able to get your son? Huh? Are they able to get your son? Yeah, thing? they can take my son home. So okay. I need to right. call. He's already getting in the truck. I know, but I need my. You? What do you need out of your purse? My purse. I need my. I need my wallet. Everything. I need all my stuff to be in my purse so I can go home. Okay. Yeah. Let me he's, talk to Mr. He's, Jim. Oh, he's putting it all in there. Yeah. <laughs> you're okay. You're okay, boy. You're okay, buddy. Hey, little oh, man. You're okay. Hey. You're all right. Is this your car, sir? Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, you're good to take it. Huh? Um. Are you aware of what's going on? They let you know? No, I'm not. So basically, um, she was involved in, a, in an accident. She took off, um, parked here, someone saw her, and we came out. And it, it's on the, the right side here, but she's, she is going to be held at fault for it. Um, so right that's where we're at. Yeah, hit and run. She hit, she hit somebody and just kept going? Uh, to my understanding, she pulled over. They went into the parking lot. They talked for a few minutes and then she just left without giving any info or anything. So it's gonna be a hit and run. Um, looks like she look. If it was me, I haven't seen the other car. Kind of looks like she changed lanes improperly and looks like caught the the well, tire of the other bark, car. I let her bark. Pick the kid up. And yeah. Of they come here and get Well, she. Uh, I wouldn't let her do that anymore because she doesn't have a license. So. I want my phone to go with me. I need my phone. I need to get okay, that's that's fine. Huh? I she's just saying that she needs her phone. She just needs her cell phone. Her son I need had my it cell earlier. Phone. Tell him to give you my phone. He got it in the purse, but I need. I need right tell him I need my cell phone. Yeah. No. Yeah. Tell yeah. him I need my phone. He has it. No. She doesn't have a license, and she shouldn't be driving regardless. So she doesn't have a. Nope. So I would not let her God, be driving this not, anymore. Jesus Christ. Huh. All right. I wonder what the insurance company's going to say now. Mm -hmm. All right. You have to you put in an insurance. So we, one second, I'll get you a case, I'll get you a case card so you have the report number for it, okay? All right. No, it's actually going to be the truck at fault because she's coming in the turn lane. He comes over into her when she's already there. Right, but I don't know that until I show up here. Gotcha. Well, you uh, I mean, you can do you can do it one or two ways. You can either spin that way, or my advice to you would just be take that leg and then kick back that way. Or you can do that too. That way, I can just shut the door. Watch me. All right. So, this is Officer Trotter. He's going to be working the wreck. He, she's actually not at fault. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hmm? She's not at fault. So the other truck is at fault. So she's only going to be held to the hit and run um, and the other charges she's got for yeah. no license and lying about her name. So. Okay, now, it was the other guy's fault. Correct. Correct. According to Officer Trotter, he's the one that's working the wreck. Um, that's my fault. I didn't, like I said, I didn't see the other car. Officer Trotter's working the, the accident. Hey, sir, sir. So I'm the officer that's going to be doing the wreck report. So there's a case card. There's my name. There's my badge number. Case number's down at the bottom. Normally it takes around five to seven business days to process through. And then you can pick the rec report up at the Lexington Road address. They open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. All right. Who informs my insurance company? Me? Uh, yes, sir. I will, I, will tell, I will call your insurance company, tell them that an incident occurred, tell them that it'll be five to seven business days, and all the information that they need will be on my police report. Okay. And then if you have any other questions of me after this point in time, I write my email address on the back of the card. Okay, I didn't realize she didn't have a license. Uh, yes, sir, it's just suspended. You got a suspended license. All right. She did. See, she picked up the kid from school, and then they usually stop here and get him a treat. I got you. Do you have any questions of me at this point in time? Uh, no. Okay. If All right. I'm free to take it home, I'll... Uh, yes, sir, you're good to go. Okay, thank you. Yep. Did my neighbor seem like he was mad? Um, I mean, no more than he should be. Uh, I mean, he seems like a pretty laid-back guy. So. Yeah, he's 
to work for the uh, 